Dear Toastmasters, in this video, I would like to go through the second project of level one of Pathways, which is a very common project that everybody has to go through in all the paths. So as you see, I'm already um, sharing my screen. So this is the main page that we always use uh, to log into uh, Toastmasters.org page. As you all know, when we, when we go through uh, this link pathways and then go to Basecamp then we go to this page and from this page you see your club name here and then you go to go to Basecamp when you do this you will see this page as a as a home page of Basecamp and you go to education transcript to access all your path information and this is the page that uh, you will come when you click to that link in here you will see all your paths and other projects that you already uh, taken over so for this uh, training purposes I will use the team collaboration uh, level one and in my team collaboration level one you can see this evaluation and feedback um, project after my icebreaker so when I launch this then I'm seeing a pop-up comes out. I just would like to remind again and again that if you don't see this pop-up, please check your browser. It should be um, not blocking any, any pop-ups. So if you have any problems here, just consult to uh, board members. Then we see the first page, then we read about this project. This project is a different one. It has some levels in it and I will explain uh, clearly in the in the checklist what you should be doing to, to complete this project so this project is about uh, evaluation giving evaluation and doing two speeches and understanding and receiving feedback evaluation and then apply it uh, in the in the real speech okay so you can you can read this and here there is a project checklist this is pretty important so uh, when i look at this uh, project checklist it's actually here so in this project here is the sequence you do you schedule the speech with the education uh, vice president education write your first speech rehearse and then present your first speech and this speech is about anything then you receive the feedback about your first speech and then schedule your second speech and use the feedback you got for exactly the same speech or you can create another speech and use the feedback again it says again incorporate the feedback your evaluator provided after your first speech you may present the same speech or write a new speech so it's very clear rehearse your second speech present your second speech after presenting your second speech or in between volunteer to be a speech evaluator at a club meeting after you completed both speeches and do this and coordinate also with vice president education after you do the evaluation and you get yourself evaluated for this year for this evaluation then you will be finishing this project let's continue let's go through uh, as the other projects there are some uh, there's a survey before you do the speech then you here you see about the competencies that you will be learning in this in this project and you go through this information there are also some other sections that you can read i'm not going into the content but uh, it will yeah you will learn a lot when you go through this uh, project uh, difference between feedback and advice and also getting some better language or correct language when you are giving a feedback so saying don't be so scared uh, you might say i noticed that you are shaking and also we are doing uh, i saw i heard i felt as a as a reference point in our evaluations so that's about uh, how to be an effective evaluator so it goes through positive feedback constructive criticism and there is a video and a couple of uh, post questions about this so just go through with this please and um, okay there are some questions and some um, additional questions to think about 
So how will you complete your assignments? What are the other resources that we are getting? So we have here evaluation form. This form will go to your evaluator before your first speech. As you see, it's the first speech evaluation. And as we, I always uh, suggested already, put your number name, put your evaluator's name, put your speech title and date, and then make a save as and give a different name to this document so that you can follow up easily. And then you can send it electronically to your evaluator. Then you have the second speech evaluation form. It's also here, you can see second speech. And the difference is in the second speech, applied feedback, there's an additional question. Feedback from first speech is applied to second speech. So the evaluator will evaluate how well the speaker has applied this feedback to the to the second speech. Then the evaluator evaluation resource, and that's how this looks like. This is the evaluator's uh, form for your evaluation. So evaluator speech, see? So there's a, a evaluation length, and then it's the same, it's the same. You say, you say or the, your evaluator says what you excelled at with your evaluation speech what you might work on and how to challenge yourself and also the same form. You can also send this form to uh, the person who will evaluate your evaluation speech and then you can, she can send it to you afterwards. And last but not least, you can see the whole project as a, as a printout PDF document, 27 pages, that you can have it uh, in, your, in your documentation and go back if you want to review as well. So at this point, when you do all these steps, you go back to the system and then assess your skills after as a, as a survey uh, results. And you, you give the answers of the same questions again. And when you see this page and when you close this page, then you will be finishing this project. And you move, you move to your next project, which is the last project of level one, researching and presenting. I hope this was a um, valuable training for the second project of Pathways Level 1. Thank you.